Hey, what's up everybody? This is Zach from Squadcast and I want to make a quick demo video with my co-founder Rock to show you how easy it is to record a remote interview that sounds awesome on Squadcast. So I've created my account, I've signed in, and I'm here on my dashboard. Um, just quickly, I can schedule a new session, get past sessions here, and I'll go ahead and make a new one and say demo uh, with Rock and save that session so we can quickly join him and get this going. So I can uh, I can see my session here that I've just scheduled and I can click join to uh, see I got an email there. Cool. And uh, you can of course schedule out in the future if you'd like, but I just scheduled this on the fly for right now. So go ahead and click the join button. Hey, what's up? That's me. Here we are on our green room for this session. You can see as the host that my uh, that my name with my account has been pre-populated here, and then below that, I can uh, I can change my microphone if I'd like to use other equipment. I have my my Focusrite Scarlett selected for both my input and output, um, and uh, and camera of course. We have uh, we have echo cancellation if you'd like to use that for uh, for guests that don't have headphones, and otherwise. Uh, location and local time to help keep everyone in sync with uh, being in different time zones and recording all over the world. Um, we can click the get help button to uh, to get in touch with our support. If something's not looking right, that's always accessible there to you and your guests, as well as some language to, uh, to get confirmation that um, uh, our backup policy is recording the entirety of the session, the audio from start to finish. So you always have content no matter what. We record primaries in addition to that, which are higher quality and uh, we just have that safety net built in for you. So, uh, so we sent Rock our invitation and let's join him in our session. Okay, looks like he's gonna take a second. Uh, you can see I have a guest invite link I can copy there. Cool, if I wanted to send that to him in a, in a chat message or something outside of, uh, of the emails that, that we send. Um, and uh, just a few other things, we can uh, look at our, oh, there's Rock. Let's go ahead and click record. What's up, Rock, how you doing? Hey, Zach, I'm good, man, how are you? Good, just doing a, another awesome demo of uh, some of the updates we've made in the app. Yeah, man, looking forward to talking about the latest and greatest with you. So yeah, so what is new exactly in the in the the demo? I mean, obviously, you know, v, I'm looking at V2, but um, what else is new in this latest edition of V2? Yeah, so I think the big things with V2 to recap that real quick were um, we're full screen video that we can see here. Uh, support for more browsers and mobile on Android. iOS is coming soon. We're working with Apple on that, as well as uh, additional pricing options. So uh, it can be more flexible with your uh, how, how your workflow um, is, uh, is scheduled. So, uh, so those are kind of the, the, the big things that we upgraded in, in Squadcast with the same fun foundation of awesome sounding audio for, for everybody in the conversation. So you're my guest in this case. Uh, we're connected here, and uh, and I hit record down here at the bottom. So we're uh, we're uploading that audio in the background while we're recording. So you can see that here in our recordings menu. We have wave files there. Um, wave and MP3 are accessible for everybody in the conversation. So you can uh, get that flexibility in post production. Awesome. Uh, and you said the the audio is being uploaded progressively. So what does that mean? Yeah. So in the background while we're recording. Uh, we are uploading that audio to our cloud as we go, and that has built-in um, benefits. So uh, it's fault tolerant if somebody's power goes out or their mic gets unplugged or stuff happens in the real world. Let's be real about that. Uh, so we always have that audio in the source quality accessible to you uh, as mm -hmm. the podcast host and producer. So that's one benefit. Another is that it's really fast. So anybody can leave at any time. Uploads are uh, almost instantaneous. And uh, it's really because it's just it's it's already in the cloud. We're just kind of putting it back together for you. Awesome. And so what do I got to do as a guest on my end? You already did it. Uh, just show up and uh, and be an awesome, you know, a participant in our conversation um, and and tell great stories. 
So forget about the technology, forget about the equipment and all that stuff. And we can have this face-to-face -face conversation with, with body language. And uh, I should also mention we're two people here, but you can also have uh, two more. So it would be mm -hmm. a total of four people in a session that we can record in that, in that same quality. The rest is just hands off for the guest. I have all the controls as the host. Yeah. And I can see on my end when, you know, I got in the session, it said not recording. When you clicked record, it did, you know, now there's a big red uh, recording sign. So that's awesome to, you know, give those visual indicators. Um, what else is there uh, as far as, you know, what does a host need to know as far as Squadcast goes? What, what do I do with that audio when we're, we're done with it, when we're done yeah. recording? Yeah, you can uh, you can copy a link because it's already in the cloud. You can copy a link and send it to your uh, your producer if you'd like to uh, if you'd like to get some some help from your team there. You can download it if it's you who's doing the post production work. Um, you can download the wave or MP3 and uh, and use that in your post production workflow. And I also want to mention there that, that one of the things that is unique about Squadcast um, as as a benefit is that that audio will automatically align and not have any audio drift. So uh, so what that means is you don't have to waste your time in post-production fixing this issue of drift that can arise um, on some other platforms. You, you don't have to deal with that on Squadcast. So it's really just import your tracks into multi-track session in whatever app you're using, and uh, and they'll be able to work with that audio, and, and uh, it'll sound great. That's awesome, man. And, um, you know, obviously we built Squadcast to be... Um, you know, reliably record high quality audio, but what are some other things that hosts and guests need to consider uh, to just, you know, make their audio and their session go great? I think, uh, I think a big one, and we recommend this in the experience um, for, for everybody who's joining is, is to, to please wear headphones that, mm -hmm. that can really improve the quality of the audio and not require things like echo cancellation that can, that can add compression to your audio and things like that. So simple solution, right? Any headphones, right? You're wearing AirPods, which are very common. I'm wearing some over ear from Audio Technica. Uh, that's not required. You can you can record with us with any mic or any headphones. We just recommend that that everybody does wear head, some kind of headphones. Yeah. So even like the old Apple earbuds that actually you know came with wires. Remember those days? Well, you mm -hmm. got a wire, but. Um, those are actually, you know, tremendously better than just going without headphones, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. And the uh, the lavalier mics are are pretty good as well because of the the proximity. So you get that mic technique, that that fist distance that uh, so many people talk about. Mm -hmm. um, the the microphones that are built into to these laptops are are pretty good. It's just that the the proximity of the distance is, you know, my desk, it's it's roughly two feet away. So that is a, a long way away it's for a microphone to capture. So he's getting a lot of other audio picked up there. And uh, the proximity um, is the important thing. So those those earbuds, the lavalier mics on there um, work great. Terrific. Yeah, because I imagine, you know, most people have that kind of uh, equipment laying around and at their at their fingertips, whereas like these mics that we have, you know, they're not uh, all that expensive, but, you know, not everyone's got ATR 2100s lying around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I should also mention that uh, camera is optional on Squadcast, so I can I can toggle mine off. Or if uh, if my computer didn't have uh, didn't have a camera at all, like a desktop computer, that's cool too. Um, you can see Ro both Rock and I are in the Bay Area, so our maps look very similar to one another. But um, <laughs> that is uh, it'll show a map uh, if no camera is available. That's cool and. Uh, it's a very high level city view of the map um, that is pretty similar to being able to see, you know, that that I'm in Alameda. It's it's not like, you know, a privacy issue or anything like that. So uh, so just kind of uh, recording all over the world together. It's it's nice to know where people are joining from and and also their local time. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, that's what we built Squadcast for, right, to connect with uh, people all over the world and have cool conversations. Yeah, and last I checked, I think we were working with folks in like 76 uh, countries, uh, you know, thousands of hours recorded each month. And uh, it's a pretty staggering that we're in a position to, we're very grateful to be in a position to, to help with so many remote interviews and helping people sound awesome all over the world. So uh, just kind of last things that I wanted to touch on um, in, in this demo session is, uh, is that we have chat built in. So, mm -hmm. um, so in the top right corner, if you, if you click on that, we can, uh, we can say what's up to each other and, uh, and chat if we'd like to do that. 
Um, we have some other fun stuff in here with, uh, with gifts and emojis to, uh, to, you know, have some fun. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. And then you mentioned that as a guest, like there's not much work that I have to do other than show up, but how about when we're done with the recording? So, you know, you hit stop and then, uh, what do I got to do from there? Is there any effort on the guest end? Uh, no, no, it's because it's all up in the cloud already. The guests can leave literally any time and uh, it, whether that's intentional or not intentional, it's all <laughs> good as far as your audio is concerned. And then we also have backups in addition to that, that, uh, that I mentioned while I was in the green room. So, uh, so these are the primaries that we're recording now and, uh, and you have the backup layer in addition to that. So we always have content. You will always walk away from a session in, in Squadcast with publishable content that your listeners will love. So I like to tell people, if you're connected and you had an actual conversation, we have that audio at a, at a minimum, always. So, uh, so it's been like that for, uh, for over a year now, rock solid and uh, ready for prime time. So working with some cool people in the podcast industry to dial in the experience uh, that, that we're using here now, as well as future experiences. So uh, we get asked all the time about, you know, we have this awesome video conversation. Um, can I get those recorded? So, uh, so that is coming in, uh, in the near future here as well. So stay tuned uh, for, for video recording in, in studio quality, as well as the audio recording that we uh, all know and love. Yeah, that'll be awesome to do this again and, and have that video recorded. Yeah, so, uh, so of course I can click stop and, uh, and you can bounce out whenever, but uh, why don't we test that out and that way we can see what that experience looks like. Um, so why don't you just go ahead and uh, we'll see you later. We'll wrap up our recording here. Thanks for joining us, Rock, and just uh, close the tab and then we'll see the auto stop. Cool. So Rock left and I'll go ahead and click stop and we can see here that, uh, that our files are generating for us. And uh, looks like rocks because he bounced out. We can click generate for him and we get that audio in, uh, in wave and MP3. So it looks like the MP3 is still generating. All good there. So, uh, so I'll go ahead and leave our session. Give it a rating that helps us stay in the loop on your experience. And I'm back here on my dashboard where I can see that my session now has two recordings from rock and I, and I can, uh, I can go ahead and play back and download them. And I uh, wanted to highlight this new feature that we have, and that's the ability to, that's the ability to mix recordings. So I can select two or more files, click mix and get, um, get a third file in this case, that is the, the mix of both rock and I, whereas these two files we see here are the individual tracks. Everybody's recorded to their own separate wave file. So if you were to play this back, you would you would just hear me and then pauses while Rock is speaking. So uh, so that mix recording is in beta, and you can see there's a get backups button here that lights up once those are accessible. Uh, it takes a few seconds after we leave the session for those to be uh, accessible, but um, those are always there for you from our cloud. So uh, that was a, a lap around the updates we've made to Squadcast in the past few months. Please uh, check it out. Sign up at squadcast.fm. <laughs>